So, hello there. Time for another update. My plan to try to make quartz and uh, to make um, nether wart without going to the nether unfortunately seemed to have failed. I got so far as to create everything up to the na nature's aura altar. But in order to create the crimson fungus, I need a crimson altar. A crimson altar is a nature's altar placed in the nether. And I cannot figure out any way to sort of import or create the nether aura. So if I have to go to the nether anyway, this can wait. Instead, I went with plan B, which was blood magic. And uh, I think I mentioned that I wanted to make a sort of themed site about it. I didn't want to mix and match. So, oh yeah, I started to talk about the nether and the sky just opens up. So, I made a ritual of the forest up uh, here. Since it's called Ritual of the Forest, I think it would make more sense to actually place it among trees. So I'm going to move this. And uh, since I have this here already, I decided to place my, my uh, nature altar. I think it's called natural natural or altar natural or altar, altar. Uh, create its own site down there, but I actually wanted to place it up here from the beginning. So I may make a switch and create a patch of, of a sort of tiny patch of woods. Um, I cannot figure out the word. The English word for it right now. Anyway, and uh, place the ritual of the forest inside that, and then move the nat natural altar up here. Still, those are built. I also started with uh, started tampering a little bit with create, so I have. Uh, if not ore doubling, so at least ore increasing somewhat. So, thank you. No more rain. My setup is incredibly simple, and oh, I spot. There are red dots here. I don't like that. Is there anything out? No. Oh, hey, Pixies. Are you evil? No. Can't as hostile on the map. No. You don't seem hostile to me. Well, as long as you are nothing but cute, I'd be really like having you around. Cool. Well, we'll see if it gets up to any sort of mischief. So, very, very simple setup. I created uh, a mechanical crafter set in order to craft the crushing wheels and <coughs> The crushing wheels are 
fed from a hopper and then feed to a hopper and the result end up in the spruce cupboard. I decided to use spruce because I think it's fairly resistant to water. I think. I think it's a sort of very sap rich tree that, that um, prevents water, from, prevents rot. Not 100% sure, but well, that's what I'm going with right now. So I take the crushed ore and feed this. I have copied or in part stolen, <laughs> in part repurposed uh, the, uh, the, um, um, the setup that feeds uh, burnable items to the, um, the fire eating, the, the, the fuel eating flowers. And so, <clears throat> and moved it here. And this now takes um, the crushed ore and feeds it down into uh, a washing. Here, there's a fan inside there that, that um, sprays sprays air through the water and uh, wash everything that, that lands here. And um, there are no uh, belts right now. It took me a little while to, to figure out. I, I, I started looking into it uh, fairly late. I've actually only used axles and gears to make, to transfer energy. And uh, that was fun and interesting. And I felt that I didn't bother too much about um, any, any sort of transport belt. I was a little bit concerned, however, that anything I put here would, after being washed, would despawn. But it seems like the draft from the fan is enough to push things off, off this area. And I intentionally made a stripped out log just because the bark on the log is sort of rough and could in, uh, in, uh, in principle inhibit the, the, the air's ability to, to move, uh, move stuff. Uh, into the hopper. So that's why this is stripped oak, but these surrounding things are not. And uh, then uh, any ingots I get get, get washed down or, or blown down into the hopper and down in the spruce cupboard. And whoa, you need, you get a lot of of um, Ingots. You do not get uh, ingots. Um, sorry, uh, nuggets. Sorry, <laughs> you do not get in the in ingots this way. You get nuggets. Then you just craft them into ingots. So that doesn't require any sort of heating uh, step where you have to melt anything. So onwards, onwards. To, whoop, to the other side. Forest night. And I should check the map before I run out here. So I'm gradually starting to build a sort of road here. It's very, <laughs> very half made right now. And Something that is a little bit sad is that I, I couldn't find any half blocks of gravel, but that I can create inches and bits. That is not hard to create. So I will probably use inches and bits to create more of a slope. Uh, there are no uh, gravel stairs. <laughs> Um, so I couldn't use that to sort of end, end this, but I also want to to not have a too too abrupt end. Uh, I would actually prefer if I could 
even this out over like two or even three blocks to create more of a slope. And that might very well, very well be possible using chiseling bits. Just take a little bit of time, but it's not complicated and fiddly. So this road out here will grow. There will be some greenery out here after a while, um, sort of um, along the road. And here is the beginning of my uh, nether portal site. So I discovered that there was a, a tiny pool of, of uh, lava out here. So I decided that that seems to be a nice idea. However, it was pretty boring to look at, you know, sand, a stone, and blah, blah. And that was it. So I brought up a bunch of slate. I created some obsidian. Um, since I was an, uh, needed to do a, a nether portal anyway. And um, <clears throat> I, uh, at some point I stumbled over um, a diamond pick that I just changed the handle on uh, in Tetra and turned it into a very decent pick. So then I could easily, um, well, with patience, with the usual amount of patience, but still, uh, I could break Obsidian. I couldn't figure out any way to upgrade my my uh, mono steel pick to do that. I think it's possible, but uh, I couldn't see any right then, right then and there. So, after looking around, and as I mentioned, I found a site which is part of Minecraft's world generation that generates broken nether portals. There I found uh, magma blocks. And deep underground I found scoria from create. And these I built the structure together um, into something that to me feels more like a pool of lava, what I would expect, sort of uh, burnt and so burnt and dry. Uh, these blocks of sand, I think, uh, yes, that was the second one, too. I'm going to to exchange for cobbles, cobble, uh, slate cobblestone, I think. Uh, unless I want to, to place an obsidian block in there to sort of break up the, the color, th the, the color into something slightly different. I mean, as slightly different as you as you get with these abrupt steps in, in color. So this is going to become a sort of a sort of a nether shrine. And uh, I don't have enough scoria yet, but I have a lot of it uh, down in a, in a tiny mine. So I need I simply need to, to dig more. And after setting up this simple frame, I went off and created a frame for for um, the blood magic, the blood magic altar. So I did some measuring, and I think this is de decently away from the road. It will not feel like it's on the road. Um, but still, this is going to be a fairly small site. It's not going to be dramatic, huge, amazing, mythical, and so on. It's going to be a fairly simple site, and it may never, it may never extend to level five. Currently, level the level five, the tier five temple is unavailable. It's possible you can actually create it, you can update the altar to level five, but um, the book, the, the book, the guidebook tells you that uh, there is a lot of, of things in progress, work in progress, so there is nothing to get from it uh, apart from allowing me to place more runes. 
And uh, yeah, so this is tier 1, this is in effect tier 2, this is tier 3 inner layer, which can be anything, this will be tier 4, this is the, the tier 3 uh, rune layer, so rune, rune rows, and so on, down, down, down. So all the way to the ground, the, the fifth layer would end up in the ground. And this is part of why I think that I probably won't bother increasing this to that high layer. I, I, think, I think it won't serve any purpose and that it may be more attractive to have, um, to have a more to have, to have a less powerful altar. Oh, I can see things moving towards me. And the minimap. To make, intentionally make this a small site. This is sort of a, um, as if you would have an astral sorcery temple close to a portal to some sort of cloud sky, the ether realm, say. Uh, for those who are, are acquainted with the Ether Realm. Um, so that's probably what this will remain. And I do not want to have to fight, so I'm going to get myself back inside before I have accident. The, the tour into the Nether was pretty calm, pretty easy, and I got a bunch of uh, quartz. And whoop, hello! Bye. I got a bunch of quartz, not a huge amount, but um, quite enough to to uh, cover all my needs for a good while. Unless I figure something out that will suddenly requires a lot of quartz, but I'm not going to make quartz pillars or anything. So that's the situation, and. What now? Do I continue developing blood magic? Or do I continue developing nature's aura? Or should I look into developing Botania? Uh, quite obviously I will not continue developing create unless I stumble over something that I really, really need and cannot create without create. <laughs> uh, but um, I don't in intend to do that. I, I have too much. I have too much to think about with the, with the magic stuff. Blood magic comes with a few interesting things. I'm going to have a read into uh, sang sanguium scientum, I think it's called, or something along those lines. Sanguine, sanguine scientum, scientium. And I'm going to see what I can do with this. If there is anything that I really want right now, uh, and that I can do fairly easy with something like a tier 2 or tier 3 altar. There are several things available. You can make uh, do alchemy mixes. You can use alchemy rays to create some some things. Uh, you can catch demon will to create more complex, uh, more uh, more complex stuff, complex complex items. But I, I'm not sure. It's possible that most of these items that depend on the will are not implemented yet. Because some of them, I seem to recall, are pretty high level. Um, so either, either I will not go into them because they are like tier 4 altars, or tier 5 things are not implemented yet at all, so I cannot do anything with that. Uh, this particular item, uh, not the symbol for utility blocks and items uh, as it's named here, but uh, the incense altar, is a, 
it's a fun thing. I might build one or two uh, just to put in um, in around in around the nature auras, the nature aura sites, or uh, the Botania sites, because I think it can be long. You can absolutely create an incense altar that uh, site that looks absolutely terrifying, and that is what I that is what I will do. I will use it for uh, decoration around the. Um, uh, this is the gate of doom. The the portal, the nether portal. Uh, it of course has a function in in uh, blood magic, so I will definitely have some of these for decoration and practical purposes around the blood altar pyramid, the ziggurat of the blood altar. But you can actually create quite the incense altars site for it with like a garden of some sort and that garden could be absolutely terrifying if designed with the right elements and placed near uh, the nether portal or near the blood altar but it could also be a very beautiful and harmonious place, really harmonious place, if you design it that way. So these have, I think, they have a neutral enough look that I don't feel that they are ex excluded from anything in particular. Uh, so this will, this will be useful later on, and this will be useful for various things. Uh, and I can do them already with uh, weak blood orb, which is tier 1 blood orb. So, and I already have a tier 2 altar, so I can actually make an apprentice blood orb if I want to. So these are the things that I am currently pondering Also, what prevented me from getting um, nether quartz without going to the nether was that the orchid igneum needed nether board because at least one of the runes, I think rune of fire, but possibly some other need nether board uh, to create it. I'm thinking it is possible that you can find nether wart in pots or possibly in chests, sort of spawner dungeons and, and such things, but also in, let's see, where are you, up here, towers, there is another tower. I mean, one tower and one citadel, but they are pretty much similar. And there are dungeons underneath. And these might, these might contain interesting stuff to find. So it's possible that I don't, didn't need to go to the nether to get quartz. It possi it's possible that I might be able, could be able to find nether wart in a chest somewhere or in a pot, uh, in a Minecraft mm. pot, flower pot. So, but I don't know that and I didn't want to spend, in, in case I was just unlucky finding it, I didn't want to chase the world, the world around the world looking for something that I might not be able to find. So this is where I this is what I did right now uh, in the interest of getting somewhere within my lifetime. But I like it. I like it. 
yeah, starting to get a small cluster of sites. And I'm uh, happy with this recreated lava pond. Uh, well, the lava pond was 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 naturally generated, but uh, creating the surrounding of it. So I am going to think things over and read a few books, and then I will return.